who can speak on it with two opposites, uh, opposite points of view. Where do you stand on comics' ability to be comics uh, without without a uh, judgment? And so, just to let you know, I'm going to touch on every most of what this nigga said in this interview with them. Shout out to Cat Williams. I was a fan of Cat, but I wanted y'all to hear this part about the cancel culture part of the conversation because I feel like it's very important. Shout out to everybody what's going on. This is the Greatest Voice Podcast, Greatest Voice in California. Let's do it. Percussion from cancel culture. Or if you ask all of culture. the people that didn't make it to the NBA, if you ask them if we just lowered the goal down another foot, <laughs> they will all tell you they make it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes the out of bounds, but the out of bounds gotta be there. Or you'll run up in the I don't think y'all heard what he said, so let me replay that back for you, because I like that. Uh, without without uh, judgment and repercussion from cancel culture. Or if you or ask all of culture. the people that didn't make it to the NBA, if you ask them if we just lowered the goal down another foot, <laughs> they will all tell you they make it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes the out of bounds, but the out of bounds got to be there. Or you'll run up in the stands, right? Mm. So some of these things are for the benefit of everything. Nobody likes the speed limit, but it's necessary. Nobody likes the shoulder of the road, but it's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Uh, My point is, um, weren't all that extremely funny back when they could say whatever they wanted to say. (laughs) (laughs) At the end of the day, there's no cancel culture cancellation doesn't have its own culture that was people of color that was us policing our own culture that was people without a voice being trashed by people just because they had a bigger name than them and more money than them and a better office than them they could sweep them up under the rug like they didn't matter i don't know what people we think got canceled that we wish we had back. I don't even know who the, who are they. Mm. So, first off, much love and red roses and yellow flags to Cat Williams. I grew up on Cat Williams, so it touched a note. It touched a note with me what he said right now to Joe Budden, because that's real. You know, I've always said that. If you have a true fan base, if you have people that fuck with you, we've canceled Cat Williams a thousand times. Let me just say this. I think Cat Williams is batshit crazy now. But we've canceled Cat. We've canceled and insane Cat Williams for all this stuff. But regardless of what we say or whatever, whatnot about Cat Williams, this nigga has always had. Cat Williams has faithfully, faithfully been getting to the bag. He sells out arenas. He faithfully sells out arenas. Cat Williams is respectfully beginning to the bad, regardless of what people say about him in the news. Now, when I listened to this interview between him and Joe Button, I listened to it with a grain of salt because and even though I love Cat Williams, y'all don't understand, I grew up on this man. Like, even to this day when I'm jogging, I listen to his, um, to It's Pimpin' Pimpin', Pimpin' Chronicles. I still, I still listen to this day. But with that being said, Cat Williams... Maybe because he's a Virgo as well, like me, like Joe Budden. Niggas who are Virgos, we have we all have this issue. Niggas who are Virgos, we have the odd tendency to speak eloquently. Uh, we try to speak eloquently and use full words and sentences that complicate the brain. So we try to come off as smart when really in the situation we just selling you bullshit. We selling you horse shit with a silver spoon, like it, it, like. It's hard with 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 Joe with Cat Williams because Cat Williams and Joe Bud. I do I do the same thing too. Like I said, my fellow Virgo brother, I'm September fourth. We will well spokenly sell you just a whole plate of just horse shit, horse shit in the story. Like Cat Williams will be telling you a full ass lie about some shit, and because it sounds so well spoken, and eloquent, he didn't slip and miss one word. You look at him like, okay, he's telling the truth. When a lot of the times, no, he's 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 blurring the lines and cutting out a lot of context in the scenario. Now that doesn't take away from his talent. That actually caters to his talent as being a spokesperson, as a spokesman, a spokesman for comedy. But 
I kind of take it. So when I was listening to him and Joe Button, I look at these two niggas as the same level of crazy and light skin with odd dressing tendencies. Like, you know, and, and, I, and I love them both, you know. I look up the Joe Button because, well, I look up the Joe Button because, one, my name is Joe. And two, because I have a deep voice, too. So I felt like as my deep voice brethren, I felt like we kind of bonded. And then with Cat Williams, like I said, I grew up on Cat Williams. I grew up on Cat Williams. And this Cat Williams, I see in Cat Williams the same. I see in Cat Williams the same issue that I had growing up. And I'm going to speak to this right now. And a lot of y'all might not be able to relate to this, but. Cal Williams is a naturally very intelligent man, very gifted intellectually, who by his own by his own mistakes, his own actions, got a little bit too involved in street shit or fucking with street niggas than should be recommended. I can relate to that because I've always been a gifted intellectually person. I've always been gifted with languages, I've always been gifted with interpreting. So I kind of not dibbled and dabbled in the streets, but I put myself in a lot of situations where I didn't have to. And it wasn't my fault like that. I just was, I, I, I work security for a living. So I got into a lot of situations where I would meet somebody and everybody would be doing with the whoop. And I, you know, you know, shit happens. And I'm, I just now started to get to the point where I realized like, no, I can't keep letting myself get that involved in situations like that. I need to give distance to shit like that. So, and I understand because you know, when you get around, you know, when you get around the hood, man, you get around the hood, you get around street niggas, bro. You know, they make you feel like you're the most loved. They make you feel like that. Ex- they make you feel that acceptance that you never got as when you were eight or nine and ten years old. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, as far as I'm speaking to the situation, I think that's all I really cared about. You know, I just want to get that off my chest. Shout out to Cat Williams. I highly recommend you guys on this episode. It is a good episode. And, 